And we are back, folks. Another edition of the Michigan Football Film Study with Monday morning quarterback Devin Gardner. Break no, 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 no. I'm the MMRB. I'm the Monday morning running back today, baby. Y'all thought I was going to run away. Y'all thought we weren't going to have a, a film breakdown. You thought we weren't going to. We got about nine plays for you. Nine plays. <laughs> Bro, you better hold on to your seats. Hey, people, people was taking bets. It's like, ah, oh, Devin ain't showing up this week. And then when you were in the studio, they was like, oh, we know what that's Let me about. explain why I'm not in studio today. I left my wallet and else <laughs> on the road this weekend. So I can't just be risking it all. I know, you know, I can't be risking it all driving way down Arbor from South Bay. That's too far. Can't be driving that far without no driver's license. That just doesn't seem responsible. I got stuff to do. I can't be sitting in jail or people writing the articles about how I was driving without a light. Yeah, I don't got time for that. So I just said, you know, Sam, we get our telestrations done, but I'm not running. It's a bet when it's with me. That's right. That shirt is terrible. <laughs> Why are you hating? Why are you hating? Look at that. Oh, That's original. See, you you ever watch you ever watch Cosby show? And Theo had the Gordon Gartrell shirt. You I don't know Gordon Clark Trail. I know the Cosby Show, but I don't know it enough to know sp specific episodes. If he was talking about Martin, I got you. I'm not a big Cosby guy. All yeah, I know I, is I, I can't think of one with Martin. I mean, I, I remember my favorite episodes. I like Miss Trinidad. I like Miss Trinidad episodes. So Miss Trinidad. Hey, he wasn't playing no games with Miss Trinidad. Miss Trinidad wanted a piece. Miss Trinidad wanted a piece. Miss Trinidad, yeah. Miss Trinidad, yeah. wanted a piece. Miss Trinidad would have got a piece. Gina would have had to understand. I said, hey, 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 Gina. Gina. <laughs> Gina, you got to understand this, baby. I understand. Yeah. Hey, that's Miss Trinidad. I, I get a pass on Miss Trinidad. Boy. Mm -hmm. he, he couldn't do it, though. But anyway, do it. anyway, let's get on to the Monday morning quarterback film study. Listen, you know we don't own this footage. Because mm -hmm. we don't own the footage, we use it strictly for your entertainment. Hey, and three of these. That's right. And, and shout out to Lance. By the way, the producer for the show, Lance came up with the idea like you – Entertainment, education, edification. It just came across the screen. You see that? You just see that? Up. Entertainment, <laughs> education, edification, edification. That is outstanding. That's why we use the video. For those purposes, not for profit, because we don't own the footage. So no advertising, no sponsorship. But however, you can fund the film study. And see, DG, he, I'm telling you, listen, the man. Time out, time out, time out. I just want to let people know some garbage is coming. I don't know what it is this time, but some garbage is coming. Go ahead, Sam. A lot of propaganda is about to be spewed, but go ahead, Sam. Hey, man. Hey, I was just talking about how you need a, you know, you, you got the sauna. You got the hot tub. Now you need the private masseuse. That's what we need to help. We need to hook a brother no, up. No, no. I'll tell you, private masseuse. I need a massage bag. I need a realignment. You know what? Get in the comments, chiropractors. I need a, I need a real, I'm like four inches shorter than I'm supposed to be right now. I need a realignment. I can't find a good chiropractor. I need to find me a chiropractor. I know we got some Michigan chiropractors out there. Help a brother out. Oh, uh, hey man, that sounds like a sponsorship. So Michigan chiropractors, if you want to sponsor DG, hit us in the, with an email. Hit us with an email. Hit us in the comment section. If you're interested in having a sponsorship package for Devin Gardner, the Monday morning quarterback. I know you're out there. For the person that brought you, if you love the Lord, get on board with Brighton Ford. Just let me know, man. Just help a brother out. You know, help me out. This is how you know you Help me out, man. Help me out. In the meantime, the way you can help see that in the comment section, that PayPal link, go ahead and click it. Help fund the film study. Or in the in the description, click that link. Same place. The PayPal help fund the film study. And then at the end of the season, we send DG that big check where private masseuse, done, right? You know, sauna with extra, it's extra hot. Now nah, he wants to add the infrared to the sauna. Done. We can make all that happen for DG, right? If you just keep helping fund the film study. So DG, with that, let's get to this game, man. With, let's get to these run plays, son. Yeah, because and, so, and this, this was not the game plan. Let's start there. Yeah. This was not the game plan. Can you explain to people there is no way Michigan went into this game saying we're going to run it 30 times in a row? No, we, we didn't come into the game plan. That's not how it started, but 
What has Michigan been? Well, as much as the, all the signs still and all that garbage, what has Michigan been? A team that adjusts. A team that sees what the team is doing to them, and they adjust based off of that and create a new plan, right? You have to adapt. And I think that's why they've been so successful. I mean, actually, I know that's why they've been so successful. Because they know how to adapt. Usually it's at halftime. This time, it was in the middle of the second corner, right? And they they adjusted in a way that I don't think anybody in the stadium, anybody in the country, you or I, especially not Penn State, as we know now, nobody expected them to adjust in this way. And I'm going to give you a few reasons why. One, and the main reason, essentially, in my opinion, is because of pride, football pride. The pride that people have about themselves, the pride, and we remember Coach Harbaugh talking glowingly about J.J. McCarthy as a Heisman Trophy winner, a Heisman Trophy candidate, and you can't win the Heisman if you don't throw, right? And so the plan going in for Penn State, attack the quarterback. I don't care what down it is, apparently. Attack the quarterback. First down, second down, third down. We are not even essentially going to play the run with our ends. We are going to scream up the field and race after the quarterback on every single down, at least at the beginning of the game until Michigan finds a way to stop it and do something else, which is what happened. But the plan for Penn State, attack number nine, we're going to put our foot in his butt, and we're going to make sure that, that Harbaugh, who isn't here, was wrong. He is not a Heisman contender. He hasn't seen a pressure like this, right? So that was the plan, and it backfired. It backfired because once Michigan adjusted, Penn State didn't adjust. You understand that? And so – I think uh, you have to you have to applaud the coaching staff of Michigan. You have to applaud Sharon Moore because he doesn't have an ego in it because he's a coordinator. And if your quarterback win the Heisman, I'm just telling you, people rolling up like, whoa, whoa, whoa. How does this guy win the Heisman all of a sudden? Who's the coordinator? Who is court? Uh, a perfect example at LSU, remember, coordinator goes to the NFL next uh, after uh, Joe Burrow, right? Because you, you created this, this machine, if you will, of offense. And so that's that's on the line as well, I think, for Sharon Moore, that outside. Why? Because the most important thing is winning the game. So everybody's got a lot of pride in it, and they all put that pride to the side to make sure they got a win in Happy Valley, and it was uh, it was very impressive to watch. All right, so but he needed to adjust, and we, we're going to start we're gonna off. We're going to show you why. We're going to show you why he needs to adjust. Yeah, buddy. Hold on. Now, take a look here. He's our right tackle. That's the defensive end. This is second and 10, right? You can say that this is a passing down, right? Second and 10, second and long, you probably want to drop, throw the ball, all right? Now, take a look at these two guys. Mm -hmm. Look how much time it's going to take for this young man, number 44, it looks like, to get to the quarterback. Let it play. 22 seconds. At 20, he's being hit. And that, that means J.J. got this ball out in, I, I, I want to say a second, but it's probably like 0.5 because it takes one second for him to catch the snap, right? Shotgun. This isn't under center. He doesn't get it immediately. He has to wait for the snap to come, diagnose what's happening downfield, and get this ball out before he's hit in two seconds. But without having the ball in your hand, it's really one second. This is a one-second decision by a quarterback who has played well and, and he's done a good job of processing and all those different things. This is next level here. This is Tom Brady, Drew Brees, get the ball out of your hands, right? He's being hit because the tackle doesn't even touch him, right? So that's early in the game. That's in the first quarter. And do we think that's going to happen all game, Sam? No. It's like, okay, maybe that's an isolated play. Well, as we move through the film, it's not an isolated play. Take a look here. Third and eight. Third and eight. Now, it's third and eight. We're going to drop back and pass. Let it, don't, don't let it play just yet. This is how you get your quarterback hurt. And this is where if you don't put your pride aside, now you're going to ruin the entire season because we are at a clear disadvantage with our right tackle in this game. Now, is that does that mean that he's terrible? No, he's played well throughout the years. Yeah, last year he played well. This year he's played well. He's having a bad day. However and why ever, I don't care. We have to put the pride aside because if we continue to drop our quarterback back, he's going to get hurt. That's what happens. And, and, and on this play, I'm getting flashbacks of Michigan State. It's just, <laughs> are we going to touch him? Are we going to touch him, right? And so you got to help your teammates, right? Just like I talk about J.J. being a, a, at the quarterback and, and it's a service position, everybody's serving everybody. So you have to serve your tackle. This is 
third and eight. And we don't know because that, that first play, we felt like it might be an isolated incident. Take a look at this one. Right? 11.53. When does J.J. have to take off? He catches the ball. 51, he's out. 51, he's out. He has to. Or he's going to get destroyed. Right now, he, he runs him down and all that. You understand this, right? So I want everybody, while we're going through this film, keep this in mind. Well, you know, it's like, man, why are we just calling all these run plays? Well, we don't want to get our quarterback hurt. And we found that even on first down, which we're going to highlight here soon, even on first down, they're doing the same thing. They are going to the sideline saying they can't block us. <laughs> Keep doing them, baby. We're going to get a sack. We're going to get a strip sack. We're going to get this ball back. We know our offense is putrid at best, but we're going to get some defensive points because they can't block us. Let's go to the next play. Yeah, and this is Manny Diaz's. Is, this is his mo. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Mm. pressure. Pressure, pressure. Forget the run, fellas. Pressure, pressure, pressure. So, Paul, let's take a look here. Now, this is a run play on first and ten. Watch how the rusher rushes. Right. Watch how the rusher rushes and leaves a huge bubble on this play. Let it run. Right. We got rusher here. Rusher here. Now, this corner. Because he recognizes it's a run, he sits in that bubble. It's a corner cat. This is what we call a corner cat, a corner blitz. So this is going to be okay for them. This is going to help them. Now, obviously, they can't run corner blitz all the time, can they, Sam? Absolutely not. Right? So let it play. Right? So watch him. You see the rusher rush up the field. Now, you have that bubble, but the corner's sitting in it. Why is he sitting in it? Because they just happen to call a corner cat on this play. Right, so you can't really get that cutback. Now, maybe you can get the cutback, but in, in football, you have to recognize as he's pressing the hole, he's not looking through that open space. He's seeing that open space, feeling that open space. He can feel uncovered blue jersey. Right, so there's no true reason to go there. You don't want to go to uncovered blue jersey now. Sometimes you're presenting opportunities, and you have to make sure that you win a one-on-one. -on -one. But you don't want to go there when, you, when the, the play is not designed, especially on first and team, there's no reason to play hero runner right now because you can just get behind these big fellas with the yellow pants and drive your feet for three to four yards on first down, which is a win in my book. But the, the point of this right here, watch the rusher on first and 10. He is chasing the quarterback, leaving a huge bubble. And remember here, you don't blitz the quarterback the cornerback on every play. So that space is going to be wide open, and we're going to see it as we move forward. And let you see it again, just to emphasize the point without me pausing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you said, hey, rushing indiscriminately. We're just rushing the passer on first down and 10. And when you see that, okay, they've made a true commitment to just going after the quarterback. And we can't get our quarterback hurt doing that. So let's counter with our own counter punch and line and whatever we're going to do. All right, let's go ahead and. Get on out of that, DG, because it's a great observation. Oh, and by the way, that was like a five or six yard game. Four or five. Well, that's a win on first down. You know what I mean? That's a win. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. Let it run. Let it run. Let it run. Let it run. Now. What did I just say about J.J. McCarthy in the quarterback position? What type of position is it? Oh, you testing me? What did you say? I'm asking you. Service, right? I, I've talked about it. Come on, Sam. I've talked about it. It's a service position. Pause it. How do you serve number 52, though? How do we serve him? He's not having a good day right now. He's not having a good day. That's okay. Everybody's had a bad day. JJ's had a bad day. Seven's had a bad day. 18. Uh, 18 haven't had many bad days. But people have had bad days. How do we serve him? Well, we can take him off of the responsibility of going man-to-man -man and get him out there on somebody we know he's going to kick out. For sure, right? So now you go pin and pull. We've already seen Samaj on this jet sweep. Take it and go score a week ago. We've seen him be dynamic, so they have to respect it, and they're playing man-to-man. -man. They got a deep safety, so they just don't have enough. Once you pin with these tight ends and get the big fellow around, who's extremely athletic, so that's why I say it was just a bad day. I know he can set quickly. I know he can block these guys. He just had a bad day. They had his number. It is what it is. Watch him get out and pull out in front. This is an outstanding call to make sure you get a first down here. Pin him, create a pile up. You kick him out. There we go. Let your quarterback be dynamic and help your team without even throwing the ball, without putting them in harm's way. Without And if we don't get these poster board people off the dang old sideline, you're just going to stand there while this guy's running and get the guy hurt? 
That's that's player safety. That's a problem. Why are they standing so close to the sideline that when JJ comes, they don't hop out of the way or anything. They stand strong, and now he's running into people on the sideline. So if we want to take a look at safety and player safety, that's another reason to get them dang old post boards off the field. Right, get some mics in the helmets because these guys are, it looks like they're intentionally trying to hurt the quarterback because they didn't even move out of the way. That's another story entirely. This is about how dynamic Michigan was to beat Penn State and Happy Valley without their coach. But the player safety thing, and, and JJ's better than me because I'm getting up losing it. You, you got to get dealt with, Poster Borg boy. You got to get dealt with because you stood there. I watched you. You didn't move. You didn't hop out the way like most people would do. You just stood there nice and strong with the poster board in front. But I'll let it go. Moving forward. You remember when we said, though, and, and you were on it. Let me give you some credit. For as much as you don't talk about the run game, he's like, man, run game's all right. Run game's all right. I said that because right. people don't think just because we don't highlight the run game, I watch it. I watch it just fine. Just like well, not just like everybody else. Not as much as Borges, but more than the, the normal common fan. I watch it. We just like, it's boring. I'm not doing that. We're not doing the run game. But, you know, obviously today we have to. And but, I was on the table saying, you the are. run game is perfectly fine. It's just a different team. A different team and a big part of what's different is how much the quarterback is a part of the running game. That's why you couldn't look at Purdue and be like, oh, my God, this is just so terrible. They can't do it. They didn't run the quarterback on purpose. They're like, we are going to put tread on the t- take tread off the tires versus Purdue? What are we going to do that for? Why are we going to take out the black card at McDonald's? Like, that don't make sense. It don't make sense, does it, Devin? Right? I don't know about the black card. You don't want got a black oh, card on this, on this. On this. Oh, God. Get him out of here. Gorgeous. Get your butt out of here. We're doing a show. Get out of here. He said, come in quietly. Sit your butt down. The boy just crashing the party because he just wants to see. See, I'm, I'm on the headset, so he can't hear you. It's perfect. He can't hear you giving a dissertation mm-hmm. on the run game right now. Yeah. Talking to, talking about the, the nuance of the running game. Look at this quarterback pin and pull. The two tight ends pin this guy, these guys, and the tackle who's having a rough day comes around the edge, and the quarterback comes around him on an off-schedule run play. Devin just broke that down, Borges. He just broke it down. But yes. Borges comes bearing gifts. Look at that. See, now, DG, you know I love you like a, like a brother, man. You know I love you like a brother. Yeah. But you have never brought me up time. Oh, yes, That's- you did. But only as a bet. Only as a bet. You brought me up time as a bet. Is it a fact that I've never brought you up time? It seems no, weird. no, I said you bought it, but it was a bet that you lost. You said, okay, I'll bring you some up time. And Sam, I was prepared to lose the bet, and I was going to get you up time anyway. Oh, I didn't know that. When I make bets, it's not really about the bet. I just, like, if I bet somebody, hey, I bet you this, you go to Proper Proper, that's because I want to go to Proper Proper. Or, and if I lose the bet, I'm fine with taking you because I like Proper Proper anyway. Who are we talking about? Yeah, I feel disrespected. So, folks, I, I, I carefully manicure my, my background, and now Borges is tearing it you up. You did take a few minutes to set that up, but he just pushed all the stuff out the way. Let's so just now, continue to move on. Can we finish this before I can get on out of here? I can't sit here and look at him with these with these two glasses inside. I'm done with it. So now, so now Borges is my background. See, there you go. Man, that's an ugly background. <laughs> that background is hideous. I'm glad he can't hear me too. Let's move on. Let's move all on. Let's right, continue to right. dive into what all happened right. on Saturday. Why these plays now? So we can get started with Gorgeous Borges because look at Borges hugging that pillow. Look at him. <laughs> all right. Weird. So play five. Al Borges, he he just wanted to come because he's so proud of you for breaking down so many run plays. Of course. Now take a look at this, right? Remember the theme we talked about. Get to the quarterback. Even on first down. Don't respect the run, apparently. Just get to the quarterback and create these huge bubbles. Well, you got two guys. One guy inside. One guy already outside line. But one guy inside. There's, and then another guy's going to do it as well. We didn't highlight it. But he's going to go in that same track trying to get around offensive linemen. And if the offensive lineman can just stay strong, it's going to keep create a huge cavity that we highlighted earlier. But why couldn't we get there, Sam? Because the cornerback was on a corner blitz. He inserted in that space. You, you kind of feel blue. We don't want to go to arm unblocked guys. This play, they're not blitzing the cornerback. Let's take a look. Mm-hmm. Completely out of position, everybody. Now look who we got. Before, I remember, there was a cornerback standing there. Now... It's uh, green grass. And how about Barner, who all day was dominant in the blocking game? 
Look at him just bully the cornerback, which he should. It's nothing against the cornerback. He's big tight end. The yeah. corner shouldn't have a chance. Yeah, nice I'm, job by Don there was finding it. I may think James Franklin is a Boone's farm coach, but he got he got some big time players. Oh, he got some players. So, but that player don't have a chance when you do this. Right. right? And it's like for Penn State, for these rushers, it's hard to get out of that mindset when all week we've talked, they've probably been told about the passing game and how we have to hit JJ McCarthy. We have to rush. We have to rush. We have to rush. Even on first down, because of the big play action and what Michigan can do on first down. And and now in an instant, you want them to shift. And, and don't do that? I don't know, man. I don't think that that's something they're capable of doing. And they showed there that they, that they were not, at least to this point in the game. All right. Now, I talked about service, right? Mm-hmm. 52 is having a rough day. The rest of the office line, in my opinion, played really well. They were very solid on a lot of different things. But 52 is having a rough day, right tackle. And for... Everybody on that defensive line, because they kind of interchange guys at that, that left defensive end spot. They have 33 there. They have 44 there. They got 11 there. They put different guys. So everybody's going to the sideline and saying, we got them. They can't block us. So when they get an opportunity to rush after the quarterback and nobody touches them, they think it's them. They're so good. <laughs> and look what they do. They go. They go. They don't smell a rat. They can't even. <laughs> there is no whiff of a rat. And they just all chase after the quarterback. A great call on third and eight. Get outside. And and, and Samaj Morgan, he has to get tackled. We cannot allow Samaj Morgan to get in that end zone at Happy Valley. Look at him. He's crazy. We can't allow him. He's an outstanding player, and I just love how they're using him. But we can't allow him to have too much success just yet. <laughs> and I, you know what I got a feeling? I got a feeling in the Big Ten Championship, we're going to have three touchdowns. I might bet it on FanDuel or something. Because he is just Inching and inching. Look at the balance that he keeps as he's running. But this is another great call, and it's going to set up an opportunity to score a touchdown for uh, Blake Corn. Outstanding job by Sharon Moore. Timing, knowing exactly what you're getting, and being a service coach. Serving your player. Serving your right tackle who's struggling on the day. Yeah, man, and this is that's the first – yeah, that's the first scoring drive. This is the third drive of the game after they have blown them up the first couple of drives. Mm-hmm. You come out, you got an off-schedule run. Already, you hit him with another third down. And, Devin, now now you feel like, okay, I got their number. We got to beat on what they're trying to do to us. We got to beat. We got to beat on what they're trying to do to us, and now we can devise a plan that will be conducive to the success of our not only our offense but our team. All right. We got another one, right? I don't, we, don't, we don't have telestration. Just leave it there. Remember what we talked about. Over rushing on every down, especially on a third down. Right? Third down, they got a corner blitz again. He doesn't insert. He goes outside as the outside rusher. He's heard that in the defensive meeting as well. Take a look at what happened. Mm-hmm. Got him. Got him. You're so worried about the quarterback and what he's capable of with his legs, getting on the edge in the passing game and what have you. You can't focus because you have two guys to make this play. Neither of them make it. Yes, sir. Outstanding on third and 11, too, by the way. On third and 11, you have their number so much so that on third and 11, you go with a normal, not even, a, and, I, and I don't think J.J.'s reading it. That looks like he's just giving it, and he beats two unblocked guys to the end zone because of the mindset that Penn State has of we've seen who J.J. is. We, we've we watched Monday morning quarterback. We understand that he is a much improved football player. He's a threat. He's the biggest threat, in our opinion. We have to take him away. Well, they did that. At the expense of the team. This Spider 2 dash, Wild Banana. And this is JJ just making a play because Penn State has enough, but he's just better than them at this point, right? They have enough guys, right? They have enough blue jerseys to stop him, but he's making a play. That I mean, that's what he's done all season. And I don't think I don't understand why it would be different on this game. Obviously, a lot of people thought it would be different because of the, the magnitude and, and the atmosphere and the team you're playing, but it's the same deal here. Same deal. Right, no matter who has who, they have enough to stop it, and and he's just a better football player, and and this is special, man. This is what he's shown, and and, and it's 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 a joy to watch. Now here we are, right? This is the last play, and this is the nail in the coffin. Yes, it is. This is after on the heels of a, right. a bad decision to go for it in your yeah. own territory. This is a samaj but backwards making a samaj but backwards decision on the last drive. James Franklin always going to be James Franklin. 
always go like okay, he, okay, he okay. He can't, he can't help himself, DG. Everybody he, knows how you feel about James Franklin. He okay, actually coached a reasonable game, right? Responsible game, and then he had to go and do that. And this, he game. had to do this, right? So he goes for it, get the ball. Now, pause it. The answer here, this you can see, this is the fourth quarter. So they've been burned with those runs that hit underneath backside. They've, they've seen that happen, and they have to they have to make a shift. And they try to make a shift. Watch 44. He's no longer rushing up the field, right? He's no longer rushing up the field. He's actually closing super tight. And I want to give a lot of credit to Barner right here, who is standing strong with his butt in the hole to give space for Big to get through. That's the first thing. Secondly, let it play. Watch 25. He's the guy tasked with making sure he watches the quarterback. Well, that's what he's doing. He's doing his job. He said, hey, we're not going to rush up the field anymore. We got to make sure you're responsible for the quarterback. When he does that, he has to hesitate. If you hesitate, well, I'll let you see what happens when you hesitate. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Right? So, Penn State tried, right? You see how tight 44 is? They're like, okay, we'll move him tighter. We'll make sure he stays tight. It's not enough, right? Because the guy that you have responsible who has to play that gap and he has to play the quarterback, right? Which one, after all week, what do you think he, he thinks is more important, the quarterback or the running back? All week. They've been drilling his head. Who's more important? Yes, yeah, quarterback. quarterback. So no matter if he has that gap or not, he's going to have eyes on the quarterback, and Blake Corm sneaks right past him for a touchdown. So masterful call of game, especially with all the circumstances, being able to shift and, and, and kind of alter the way you want you want to play at the beginning of the game and in, in the middle of the game, at the end of the game, having no pride about it, right? Putting the pride to the side and staying steadfast in what you were doing, even if it didn't work every single time, you knew what you were capable of. And outstanding. Fantastic. Outstanding. Well, let me just say, yeah, it was a fantastic game plan. That was a fantastic breakdown of that victory of that eight pass, used to it. that used eight to it. pass victory dg eight don't pass. get used to it oh, okay. don't get used to it sam and, and sam i'm talking to you and i'm talking to you you see what i'm talking to you the fan don't get used to it you better come to board jesus for this run garbage but i want y'all to know I, I know what's going on on the runs i just choose to do the fun stuff the, fa the passes the things that this new michigan team got really good at over the summer and going into the season, J.J. McCarthy is called Monday morning quarterback film study for a reason. And guess what? It was still a big part of why this team won. The threat of J.J. McCarthy's legs and the actual J.J. McCarthy's legs made some huge plays in that game. Um, and, and it helped open up the run game even more. I think that Penn State had a really good plan to start. But that, that off-schedule plan, that next plan, when the, when the plan breaks down, they didn't have a real answer. Um, and that, that's how, that's all she wrote. Let me clap it up for my guy. <laughs> clap it up for my guy, DG. You're so annoying. I'm so proud of you, my brother. They, because, hey, DG, they, I, I mean, people were actually doubting. It's like, is that's DG fair. taking the week off? Like, is, is nope. he taking a break? I'm here. I'm here. And guess what? Sam will get this one out early. No, you're not. <laughs> like, hey, man, listen, you got the, the production schedule. Is the same. I still got to send it to the producers. They got to yeah, bring yeah, it on yeah. that But anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what else is the same? That we don't own this footage. Mm -hmm. And because we don't own this footage, we use it strictly for the entertainment, education, and edification of you, the viewer. But Threes. if you want to help fund the film study, if you want to help, help DG get a, side, a, a shirt that actually says bet on it without the tape. Hey, like, man, you don't know if this tape or not. <laughs> this is glossy threading. I got a machine probably you don't know. Don't be hating on me. Don't be hating. Don't hate me because you ain't me. Help him out by helping fund the film study. Fund the film study. Click that link, that PayPal link right there in the comments. It'll take you right to the fund the film study page with DG. Same thing in the comment section or the description. It will take you there. And just next thing you know, DG, I'm just telling you, man, it won't even be a thing that he doesn't have. Man, man, just be quiet. Not. You're done here. <laughs> That's because, you know what will happen? They'll just fly DG right to the parking lot. Private jet. He won't even have to go to the airport. No, helicopter, excuse me. Helicopter DG right to the right to the parking lot. That's Sam, there, there's a thing that we have to mention. 
we got some reminders here. If you do not have the PayPal, right? If you don't have PayPal, Gardner Devin J on all Cash App, Venmo, all that, right? But also, we said in the beginning, I want to say it again, Michigan fans, chiropractor, hit me up. Uh, yeah, yeah, I need you. I'm, I'm, I'm walking around six foot one. I'm really six four. Help me out. Help, 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 help a brother out. That's what I need. And the private masseuse too, right? I'll take that. I'm not going to deny that. Okay, I'm not going to deny it. I know you're. It's all propaganda for you, but I'm not going to just kick that to the curb because I would love. It. Thank you very much. Anyway. Thank you for watching. We love that you tune in. We love that you support. We love that you didn't believe in me to do the run game. But guess what? And it was way better than Borges, I'm sure. Much more fun. <laughs> All right, folks. We'll see you next week. On the next, on the next edition of the Monday Morning Quarterback Film Study with Devin Gardner. We'll see you then.